Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to download file from internet using a platform or a Windows API. Uh, it's called URL Download to File as you can see here in my screen. Uh, this is a very simple API but it's very powerful at the same time. So if you need a reference, I'll add uh, it to the video description. It's here in the, under the platform API in the Microsoft documentation. Uh, here is a sample of the site I'm trying to download the data from. Uh, so here we have a data file, uh, four of them. So if I copy this link and paste it here, this is the name of the file. So that is what I'm, we are trying to download today. Similarly, we'll try it for other files down here. Okay. So, uh, once we're done with our function, we will, you know, like put a file path here, we we'll put a button and try to download it. Let's get started. First, let's write a quick sub uh, routine. So, download, download file, and then we'll say dim uh, download status as boolean dim uh, URL as a string, and then we'll say dim destination file name or local file name as string. This will all be text, and then we'll say the URL is gonna come from this cell. So let's say D3, or let's say D3, um, and then the URL destination file name. Let's say I want to put this in the downloads folder here. So for now, we'll just start this with a simple. Um, this is the destination where I want to put the the file and then of course this will come with the file name as well so we'll take care of that in a bit and then the function so we'll say download status is equal to URL download from file so let's start this um, we'll ignore the first parameter we'll just give it false and then we want to download it from the URL and then we'll specify the destination folder and we'll just ignore the rest of the parameters okay so it says file name is not defined so I'll say theme uh, actually, let's write a quick function. So function, I'll just ignore this for now. We'll write a quick function just to get a um, file name from the URL. So function file name, and then we'll get this from file full name. A string, we want to return a string. So let's see file name is equal to, so if we, just give me one moment. So if we pass this URL, we want to return a file name. So so that every time you download, you can directly, you know, like return us dash five hundred dot zip. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so um, to do this. We'll just use a simple meet function and then uh, the in string function. So we'll quickly do this. So mid, and then we'll just save this file name, and then we'll just use uh, in string. So this will just divide the file by uh, we have. Uh, so if you're using the local file part, we'll use the backslash. But in this scenario, it's the web, so we'll just use this and then we'll just close the bracket and then we'll add one more to the string just to um so that you know like the dot part is included in the logic so if i try to do this now let's just try to test this function quickly 
so it gives us the file name so I'll say here um, and then we want to get a file name from D2 was it D2? yeah D3 sorry so D3 whatever is there uh, in D3 we want to get a file name of that URL so if I just debug this right now it's gonna give us this so this is I want this to be downloaded to the downloads folder call the file name as this okay okay so our function is ready let's give it a quick go let me just change this to variant uh, for now uh, this is basically gonna return us zero if it is successful so let's just give it a shot so if download status is equal to zero then uh, else if it is downloaded successfully let's say like message box downloaded successfully else message box download failed and if okay so let's give it a shot I'm gonna run this now since download is successful it's very quick uh, if I go to my folder you can see this is US 500 so let's try to give it another try um, just gonna go here let's um, try to run for another file like US we've downloaded US let's download the UK file now um, let's add a quick button to this um, maybe a shave something like this we'll call this download file maybe something like this we'll attach our code that we just wrote download file and let's give it a shot so here once we run this it will download the UK file. Download it successfully. So you see the UK file is there. If I extract this, this is the UK file that I just downloaded. So guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. You do have a good day. Bye-bye.